Hello everybody and welcome back to Spyro 3. When we left off, I had just reached Midnight Mountain and I genuinely, while I was setting up here, like getting my recording going and everything, doing the sound test, all that stuff, I've just been here just like chair dancing to the funky music. I mean, it's so goddamn fun. Listen to it. It doesn't sound like the noise I just made, but it's great music. So, let's get going, shall we? Let's clear this place out. Then I'm going to get Agent 9. Um, and actually, I might not even do that off the start. Can I reach that from here? Yes. Because I might just go back to World 3, Hello Saki, and uh, get spy, uh, Spark's ability from that. Because that's something that I don't want. I, I know that to get all the treasures, I'm going to wait till I like completed Beat the Sorcerer so I can get like teleports and things. But I don't. I think I will go back and get Sparks' thing as the exception to that, because that gives me essentially an extra life point. Which would be very nice. Now, let's have a look around this place, shall we? Oh, look who it fucking well is! Look who it is. But you may notice, Agent 9, this monkey, has a laser gun. Uh huh. And he's a bit of a weirdo, so this is gonna be fun. Well, well, Spyro, look what I have here. Yeah. It's a life size space monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. It's a, it, I'd love to let him out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. It's not an action figure, it's an actual monkey. So I think, oh, let him out. <laughs> You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? <laughs> well, you can regret that. I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out. <laughs> Let's find out, shall we, Moneybags? Sit back, audience, and enjoy. Isn't he great? He is just fantastic. And he's friends with the professor from Spyro 2, so that's nice. Which you will see uh, when we do his level. But right now we're going to clear this, uh, the rest of this world. But isn't he fantastic? And yes, playing as a, a monkey with a laser gun is just as much fun as it sounds. An insane monkey with a laser gun. It's tremendous. Smashy, smashy, smashy. What's this? Uh... Nope, that's not working at all. Crystal Islands, is this called? Yeah, Crystal Islands, I thought so. And there's a thief. He's gonna need a good chase. Let's grab all of these. There's a platform way off in the distance there. It was high up. I don't know if anybody else saw that, but that is... I have no idea how I'm gonna reach that. I'm sure we'll figure something out, though. Hey, buddy! Don't worry, I'm not coming for you yet. I'm just clearing out the treasure. Then I'll be coming for you. We've got a nice kind of... Gladius helmet here, which is uh, Desert Ruins. It's like a Tomb Raider knockoff thing. Not a knockoff, you know, it's a thing. Um, and it's pretty cool. There's deadly, deadly slurry waterfalls going on. Not very nice. Up here we have, I think, the room where we fight the sorceress. Yeah, 200 eggs are needed to get into the sorceress's throne room, I guess it is. And I have a total of. Indeterminate. Oh, 97. God damn. Oh, that is close. That's super close. I can actually get there just by getting the rest of the world, the eggs on this home world. I could go fight the sorceress. Hardy, hardy, hard. My, just like Inspire 3. In the, bleh, I'm playing Inspire 3. Just like Inspire 2, where I got to the, uh, you know, where Ripto was, and I was just like, yep, can already fight him, and I haven't even done any of the worlds on this home world. Eevee. Hello, Eevee. You did not evolve. I am disappointed. What the hell? A lumpy grass there. Now, I might as well get this guy now while I'm here. If I doesn't go right, I should be okay. 
doesn't seem to run very far. There we go. Hello, Mikan. Interesting game. See, he gets it. He gets how stupid it was. He's just like, oh, I'm embarrassed that I was a part of that. How is? How did he cough up a butterfly? Jesus. His haunted tomb, and I remember this level vividly because they have a bit with some riddles in, and one of the riddles is from The Hobbit. Um, well, it's from the book. I don't remember if it appeared in the film or not. I think it did. I'm not too sure. But I remember playing it way back when, playing this game. Not The Hobbit, playing this. I never finished The Hobbit game on PS2. Not because it was overly difficult, though it was pretty fucking difficult. Oh, Dynamines. Just because it was really long. Like, I, I just got the ring where, when I stopped playing, and that was after about 30 hours in the fucking thing. Like, and uh, don't, don't get me wrong, that was just, like, on that save. I tried it dozens of times before. Maybe not dozens, but sometimes. It's a crazy long game. Really good, though. I wish you get around to finishing that at some point. But, um... Yeah, so there's... Uh, oh, there's Sparks as well. Yeah, I know, Zoe. I get it. Uh, yeah, so I remember I was doing that, uh, that mission, uh, the mission, that world, and, uh, there was a puzzle, and uh, the little guy said, uh, you know, box without hinges, key or lid, blah, 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 blah. Uh, inside golden treasure is hid. And um, and I was sat there playing it for the first time, and Ben, my twin brother, was next to me. And uh, he just immediately, before the guy had even finished the riddle, he just went, egg, it's an egg. And I was like, what? How did you know? We were like 10 at the time. I was like, how did you know that? He was like, it's in The Hobbit. And I hadn't read The Hobbit at this point, because, uh, let me reiterate, we were 10 at the time. And he was like, yeah, it's in The Hobbit. And I was like... Uh, okay, and I tried it, and he was right. So I always remember it. Ooh, this is quite nice in here. I guess there's an egg, yeah, isn't it? Hello, egg. Buddy! Hey, buddy! Okay, then. Oh, and that's all the treasure. Fantastic. Is that all the eggs? And I just hit 100 eggs, too. That's... Is that all the eggs in this world? Nope. Shush, it's a secret, and question mark, question mark, question mark. Well, that's interesting, because I've got all the treasure, so... There's not many worlds as I thought, either. Okay. Now, from here, I can glide down to here. There's loads of lizards here. Oh, why, hello there. Now, this, I believe, leads to the super bonus world. And, if I remember correctly, I'm not making that up. That's the, um... The equivalent of Nasty's Treasure Room or of Dragon Shores in this game, except there's more to be doing in there. Um, yeah, and that's for, you know, 100% completion, minus one egg, and you go in there and you, uh, you you do lots of stuff. Now, in the... Aha! Smashy. Found yous. You could hide from me, did you? On an island. Hello, Billy. Billy was a normal little dragon. Billy chased his tail around in a circle because he was an idiot. That's all the eggs. Egg for sale. Oh yeah, yeah, you buy that one off money bags later, it's a special thing. Um Okay. So, let's go back to the last world, get started, and uh it's out on Sparks bit that is, and then we've got a lot to do. We've got several worlds to do here. Uh, then we've got to beat the sorceress, get the teleporty ability, go back and forth to all the worlds I've missed, get all the remaining treasure and shit. Oh god! Oh, that's gonna that's gonna take a few episodes. Um, yeah, so we got that, and then we've got. Let me remember where Sparks' level is. I don't remember. Uh, after that, we'll have to yeah. Then we've got some bonus worlds because we'll be done. Ah, well remembered, Tom. Hey, Zoe. Princess Amy showed me a place called Starfish Reef. She says there's an egg hidden in there. I think Sparks should check it out. Okay, off you go, Sparks. Spy will just sit here. Twiddle his claws, I guess. Claws? It would be claws, wouldn't they? Dragons have claws. Okay, so it's, uh, oh, no! Starfish! Oh, fuck. I've just realized something. Because of my rebinding of the arrow keys, I can't strafe use I can't strafe unless I use the arrow keys. And I can't use the controller and the Okay, hold on people. I just need to quickly make a few alterations. Um no, that's no, hold on. 
What am I doing? Oh, this is terrible. Okay, I'm going to pause this recording and then I'll be right back with some alterations having been made. And I'm back and I've made the alterations. I can strafe now, see? Isn't that much better? There we go. I'm probably just going to have to switch it back after I finish this. But never mind. Oh hell. But see how useful it is? Is that invincible? Oh no, that's so special. Oh, that would have been useful to have against those jerks. So yeah, I mean, it might be that treasure finding will still work with this configuration now, but I'm not too confident, so we'll have to wait and see. I like that Sparks has his air bubble. I just realised that. Like that. And I don't need that, but I'll take it anyway. There we go. Help. Oh boy. Oh, these starfish break up. I think we're taking a hit. I've taken two hits. Bugger nuts. Ooh, that's interesting. What on earth is that? Pardon me, just scratching my ear, which requires me making a lot of noise as I move the headset. Uh, cool, that's what that is. Oh, balls. Okay, well that could have gone a little better, but it doesn't matter, we're still alive. Keep it up, Sparks, you blue bastard. This place is a bit of a maze, I'm not going to lie. Miss him? Nope, got him. This is going to be the best way to do this, I feel. I'll deal with you in a second, Mr. Eel. Whatever the hell you are. Oh, yeah, like a fucking pro. Out of the data boy sparks. That was bloody good. Dead. Are they meant to be? I'm not sure. Are they eels? <laughs> I'm too quick for you, you fuckers. Now you dead. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, big ones. Big ones, big ones, big ones. Oh, that was perhaps a little bit of a waste. Didn't the shit I got coming for me. Ah, you wanker. Give me that. Need it. No, I wanted the big spread one. The one that just, like, fires everywhere. That would have been really handy here. Damn it. Damn it. Whew. Okay. I've got one hit left to take, pretty much. I'm just going to keep spraying upwards until that shell is dead. Okay, that shell is dead. I lied. We're going to keep spraying upwards for a little while now. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, that was close. Oh, heavens. Oh, balls. I sort of the special, so I'm just going to keep shooting it. Oh, it's dead. And we'll take that, please. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Whew. That was close. Right. Uh, right now, I think? This one? Ah! Who's next? Okay, that was maybe overkill. There was one guy. Uh, it's not very easy to uh, target diagonally, <laughs> or at least not for me, I'm just not very good. But it's certainly possible, but it's, uh, yeah, I'm not too great. Oh, bugger, why did I think my shots would stop his shots? Not fucking lightsabers. Ah. Ah. That's a relief. Ah! ah! That's a relief. Oh good, that thing's just peter out after a little while.
Okay. Ah! I mean, oh dear. There seem to be several. Then I remembered they're starfish. Not exactly nature's most feared predator. Yeah, they can poison you, I think. And they can learn bubble beam and psychic, which is kind of annoying. But other than that, they're pretty fine. Not a huge problem. Ow. I get the thing this is the boss room, and I'm sure I've missed loads of rooms along the way. Oh! Jesus, it's a manta ray. How about I wait till I'm done before I go for the treasure? Nope, I'm not. Okay. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's. and angry. Look how angry he is! Jesus, motherfucking Christ. I'm just gonna hide in this corner and keep shooting up with him. No, I can see that not working at all. So we'll strafe, we'll strafe the bottom. I'm ahead of him. Okay, I'm thinking the only way I can do this really is just kind of follow him around and just try and avoid being in front of him basically. Oh, I take damage if I touch him, do I? Well, that's good to know. Oh, God, that was close. Oh, no, we can't come in the middle. Okay. Ooh. I keep, I, I'm not worried. I always die on the Sparks bosses. They're generally actually quite fucking difficult. And this guy, have you seen how much health this guy's got? It's insane. Good, so we've lost most of our health already. Well, some of it. Like a third. Ah! Oh, fuck you! Come on! Down you go, motherfucker! Oh my god! This is going terribly! Seriously, look at the health he's got! I got no special weapons or anything to deal with this guy! What I got is Sparks' is puny, whatever these are! Oh good! Now there's two! Oh fuck! And they spit out the littler ones! Oh my god! And if I take one hit, I am dead. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh, going up was a mistake there. Ah. At least they're not firing bombs at me anymore. I'm not hitting anything, am I? No, I wasn't. Okay. No need to panic yet, people. But by all means, do start panicking fairly soon. The speed with which these guys reproduce is crazy. Now, I'm not a uh, biologist of any kind, but I'm fairly certain that manta rays don't reproduce by spitting out their young. Though, actually, that is something they could do, what with being something that lives in the sea and therefore weird and gross. Marine biologist was the particular type of biologist I was after. There are a few of these little what, babians out. Babians, that's not a thing. Going down. Yes! What? Anna Sean? I'm gonna call you Lily. Hello, Lily. I almost said I'm gonna call you Fred, and then I realized that's. It's, it's a girl. Oh, cool. We done. Fantastic. Oh, and just in time, the episode is about up. Even if I did lose like a minute from fiddling about with the options. Good, that is good. Okay. I feel like we accomplished a lot this episode. We completed uh, Midnight Mountain and uh, Sparks' thing just now. When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks. But you sure showed him. Now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger, so you can take one more hit for Spyro. Yay! Sparks is just, Sparks is going to be like the best friend ever. Like, not only does he help Spyro by gathering all the treasure that Spyro is too lazy to get, but he also, you know, protects him from bodily harm by taking hits himself. Check it, now he's going to be all gold and sparkly rather than just all gold. Look at him, he's got a little glowy bit. See how healthy he is? He's got a healthy glow. Because Dragonfly, I don't know. Um, okay, we're going to go back to Mount Mountain, and while that's travelling, uh, yeah, we're done for this episode. So, 
I um and are a lot, don't I? Uh, sorry about that. I'm doing it again. Listen to me. I can't help it. I'm sorry. It's just when my brain tries to think of things to say and then it doesn't. So I am and are. But you knew that's what um and are was. So I will try and do it less. Um, thank fuck's sake, Tom. Well, thank you for watching anyway, folks. And I will see you next time when we'll probably go and do Agent 9's level. Goodbye.